right so it's bright and early on my second day on the blackwood i've just launched it's like 10 to 7 the sun's not up yet probably up in about 10 or 15 minutes so i'm just gonna head to the opposite side of the river stay nice and quiet there's a little bit of a breeze blowing which is good and i'm just gonna fish a little bit on the snags i know there's a little sandbank that comes out from the edge in front of me and drops away and there's plenty of nice tea trees and reed banks which are all undercut and, and there's plenty of water so the tide is rising this morning It'll probably rise through till I'd say 10 o'clock, so it's um it's pretty good. So we'll get out there and um uh, hopefully smack a few today. Hunting the big ones today, so let's get into it. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going crazy. I got smashed as soon as it hit the water on the splashdown. It must only be small because I can't hook them. Yeah, keep pulling hooks out. Every time I let it sit there, it just loads up. I can't, I can't set a hook on it. There we go, got that one. You can see they're only small fish. I'm sick of touching fish this morning, my hands are so cut up and slimy already. I've only been here for maybe an hour, if that. I would have landed at least 15 fish, probably more. That was easy. Most of them are legal. Oh, that leader feels a bit sketchy. I'll retie that and I'll get back to you. As is tradition, the moment, and I mean the moment I turn the camera off, I cast, and as it hit the water, I hook this guy. Every time. Look at the teeth on it. Alright, so I've um, fished my way up this little tributary towards the start of the flats. And I've caught heaps of fish, as you guys have probably just seen. Um, but I really want to go up river because there's some really, that's where it starts to get deep. And there's some pretty big, heavy timber. And that's where I reckon the big ones are going to be sitting. So I'm going to head there, I'm going to do my very best not to cast on the way because it's a little bit of a pellet, it's a few k's up the river. I'll have something to eat on the way and um, I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. Hopefully it's not too long. I'll see you there. I'm on the vibe. I've just come across a lot of fish sitting way out from a bank on the side scan. I come over the top of them and um, yep, they're brim. There he is. Not a huge fish by any means. Definitely legal. You can see that vibe sitting in his mouth there. Oh! Somehow I have lost the rear treble in this exchange. Interesting. Look, I really like this colour. That bright green with the fluoro orange belly and the red eyes. Probably my favourite. I'm vibing deeper water. Beautiful fish. We'll, um, we'll get him back in. All right, so I've made it to the beach in somewhat of Ari. Um, future reference for anyone, there are drop toilets at the ski beach. I will say no more. <laughs> um, but this is an awesome little area, really cool spot to stop. You've got a couple of picnic tables back here and big shelter up there. I think there's a few walking trails and stuff. And then obviously, it's not a bad view to have your lunch from. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have my lunch um, and sit here, chill out for a little bit, stretch the legs out. And then I might even chuck the drone up in the air. So I'll see you in a second.
you enjoyed that drone footage. Um, lunch is over. I'm going to get back in the yak now and I'm going to start heading back up that way. Um, well, not back, but up that way um, into some of the deeper, deeper snags. And uh, hopefully the, when the river narrows up in some of those tighter snags, that's where the bigger fish are holding, where there's a bit more current rushing over them. But um, yeah, we'll get up there, see how it goes and fish the rest of the afternoon. See if we can get a big one. I think I've cooked a half decent one. I reckon this will be a 30 something. Got an 8 pound leader and a pretty tight drag, so not too worried. Nice, this is a good fish. It's quite a nice fish. Beautiful. That's more the size we're after. Not huge, but it's a healthy fish. It went pretty hard. We are a low 30s model. See his hook nicely in the lip there. I'll just come up over a big drop off and just cast it a few reeds. It's right on a corner, so I was just looking for key areas where a bit of current might be, you know, running through, and um, that's where he was sitting. So pretty happy with that. It's the best one of the day so far. Let's hope the afternoon sessions where it's at and they uh, make it bigger again. There must be a couple of fish because I've just um, spun around to cast back in again and. Another one. It's not overly big, but it's probably a legal fish. Oh, maybe not. It's not only a small one. Just a pup. Three from three. Push it back, drag off, and play a little bit more as a legal grip. A bit darker than the last one. Play it the exact same way. Since I checked in, I would have caught another 30 plus fish. There's been rain and all sorts of wind and everything's been going on. And I've just hooked one which might be a little bit better. A little bit better. There's fish sitting right off this bank. Just come onto a sand flat or way up river and it's absolutely bonkers. Literally just blind cast. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I only know it's a sand flat because I can see on the sounder. I'm just slow rolling <laughs> as soon as it hits the bottom. I'm just getting smashed. There must be fish all over this flat. Like completely covering it and I'm just getting bites after bite after bite after bite. It's been like this all afternoon. I haven't filled much because it's just been the same thing. Just fish after fish after fish. All sort of rats leak to up to legals up to sort of 30 centimetre fish and a couple just over, but so many around that size, that 24 hour pip size. I can't even tell you how many fish I've caught. It's, it's 
got to be close to triple figures, close to 100 fish today. I've just, it's been just stupidly active, like they're biting, they're eating everything. And I've had a few quiet patches where I've tried different lures, but as soon as I go back to slow rolling grubs, the fish just, <laughs> they magically, oh, there you go, there's another one. <laughs> Only a small one, magically appear. bad thing is, or the sad thing is, it's getting close to the end of the day and I'm going to have to start heading back so I'm a fair way up the river. Another one, very similar size to the last. There's got to be a big one out here somewhere. It can't just be all, all small fish all the time. There's one. Oh, popped him. Straight back into him. Let's go a bit deeper. There's one. <laughs> oh my god. This is just not okay. I'm never going to be able to go back to a swan and canning again. Probably give it one more go and then um, turn the camera off because oh my goodness, I didn't even want the handle. This <laughs> is just getting stupider and stupider. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, maybe we'll just maybe one more. Because that was too easy. That was just no, you can't that can't be. straight away. Stick to my left. That side scan unit is today I've this is the first time I've really used my side scan unit and I'll tell you what it, it it's helping me find fish like you wouldn't believe. You can really see the big schools when you're going along the bank you can see if they're sitting out deep and you can see the trees that they're sitting on. It really does make it easier. I didn't think it was working for a while there because I was just getting a bloody blurred out high contrast screen but when you're actually in the right depth of water and you have it set right you see a lot and it really does just open up a new picture to what you're fishing. Well, I reckon I'll um I'll stop this this section here because I think you get the idea what I mean. How this is how it's been for the last hour and a half, two hours. So I'll um I'll get you back as soon as I hook a big one. Another one which feels a little bit weightier as well. I think it's going to be another low 30s fish. Yeah, it's a nice fish. to 
towards the end of the day and um, I'm way too far up river. <laughs> I got a feeling I'm only paddling paddling home in the dark. The thing is I keep telling myself, oh, I'll just go to the next bend and I'll turn around. And then the next bend and I look around that bend and I go, oh that looks good. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> I couldn't even move that. Yeah, I keep telling myself, oh yeah, that looks good, that looks good. I keep getting further and further and further away from where I should be. I'm going to be cooking dinner in the dark. But I don't mind. <laughs> this is a pretty damn good session. You don't get these too often, so when you get them, you've got to make the most of it. All right, I'm gonna quickly do this before it starts pouring again. <laughs> um, it's pretty late now, it's like 5.30, the sun's pretty much gone. Um, been such an epic day, caught so many fish. I honestly, if I'm being conservative, would have caught 100 fish. I, there was times when I'd catch six or seven in a row. It was just stupid. Um, <laughs> it's just, I've never had the Blackwood like this and this was bloody awesome. Uh, I have tomorrow morning, but I think I'm just gonna chill out and. You know, relax and camp in the morning and not pressure myself too much to get out early like I did today. Um, so I'll probably call the video here. So um, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this kind of thing, drop a like, uh, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Uh, I'll see you guys again in the next one.